Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create automatically SMS retrieving functionality in your Compose application. So suppose this is your application. You have entered a phone number and now you have to send a OTP. So now you will be navigated to another screen where you are waiting for your OTP. So now your phone will receive some OTP. For example, I am passing it here. Send message. The OTP is automatically submitted in my application. Here you can see the same OTP that I am sending here is retrieved here. So this can be easily done with SMS retrieval API from Google. And once you receive your OTP, you can automate the flow. You can directly log in your user and do whatever you want. So let's implement this. For my UI, I am having a first screen that says send OTP. And then I will be navigated to second screen that has some button. And if the OTP is null, that means I am waiting for the OTP to be received. And once I have received the OTP through my broadcast receiver, I will explain you all this flow. Just wait. So once I automatically receive the API, so this OTP field will be filled. That means there is some OTP. So OTP is not equal to null now. So I will show the OTP in my UI. So this OTP state is updated. That means my UI will be also updated. And I'll show this button, submit OTP. And then you can navigate to any screen you want. And, and all this is present simply inside of my main activity. So first let us understand the flow. Okay, so your application have to receive an SMS. But any application will not directly have the access to reading the SMS. Either, either you need a permission, but uh, we are not going to do that. Because having the permission to reading or writing the SMS is a security issue. So we are not going to implement any permission to read or write SMS. So without permission, we have to read some OTP. Our application don't have direct access to our SMS, but our operating system does. So we know that our operating system can access any SMS that we are receiving and we can communicate with our operating system with using broadcast receiver. So once our operating system receives any SMS that that is intended for our application. So our operating system can broadcast that SMS and our application can have a broadcast receiver to receive that intent. And then we can fetch the OTP from that SMS message. So that is a pretty straightforward flow. We just need a SMS broadcast receiver. So here I created a custom class, my SMS broadcast receiver that implements this broadcast receiver class. Okay, and let us override this on receive method. So once any broadcast is received, we will have an intent inside of this on receive. And then with using this intent, we have to fetch our OTP from our message. But how do we know that this intent is a message intent, that this is a SMS? Our system can broadcast anything, either it is battery level or it is any security or anything related to our operating system. But how do we know that this is a, actually a SMS broadcast? So for checking that, we need to check action, intent dot action like this. And if the action of this intent is a SMS action, then we can say that uh, this was a SMS received. But how can we write this thing if action equal to SMS action? So where is this constant? So this constant is actually from a library that is from Google Play services. So you need some dependencies for that. And here are the two dependencies that you have to import in your application. Play services auth and play services auth API phone. And the link of this repository is down in the description. You can access the whole repository from there. After, after adding the dependencies, we can get SMS retriever dot SMS retrieved action. So as I said, if the action of this intent is SMS action, that means we just received a SMS intent. And now we just have to check if this was successful, if it has a message or not, if it has or OTP or not. So for that, we can just get the status of our SMS. The status object is this GMS API. So we have to check now when dot status code is success. That means we just have a success status code. Also, there is other status code like error or timeout. Timeout is a common one, so you can also implement that. I just use here else. So if the status code is success, that means we just go to SMS message and we can get that SMS message from extras.getString and this is the key for our string and this will just return us a string value. So we have to just fetch the OTP from our SMS. Suppose I am just passing a simple SMS message that contains our OTP for the first six digits. So, so I'll create a function parse OTP. So it just returned the first six character as OTP. And now 
we have to return this to our calling side that means wherever we are calling this uh, my sms broadcast receiver that will be in our compose view compose screen so we have to pass that otp to our compose screen and for that we need our listener pattern so i'll create an interface that is uh, listener and that contains a function of on otp received it is simple as that and we'll create local variable and a setter and here we will just pass listener dot otp that's it it should be nullable all set let me name it init listener so that it won't have a conflict with the uh, getters and setters method okay so this broadcast receiver is done i hope you understood it let me revise it if we are receiving an intent we have to check if it is a sms intent or not if it is then we check the status if the status is successful then we'll just retrieve the sms then we'll parse the otp and and we are just passing the otp to our listener so everything is good now our listener is there but when should we start listening to our otps so when you are navigating to a screen where you have to fill the otp on that screen you obviously you have to start listening for the sms or otp so that is our screen 2 and in our screen 2 if the otp is not there yet then we are waiting for the otp and uh, that time we have to start this broadcast receiver that means we have to register this broadcast receiver when when we are navigating to this screen 2 and we have to also unregister this broadcast receiver when we are leaving this screen 2 so so this registering and this unregistering should happen on the screen 2 only and for such cases you know what composable to use this disposable effect so this disposable effect will be called when you are first coming to this screen and it also has a on dispose which will be called when you are leaving the screen so we have to register when we are coming to this screen and on dispose we have to unregister so let me remove all this and let me try to explain you all this okay so here we have a otp state that we have to fill that we have to get from here that we have to get from the listener so first let us create this uh, receiver object okay so here is our receiver object and i am also initializing my listener and uh, if the otp received function is called then i am updating this otp state so the receiver object is here i have to register it so context dot register receiver pass the receiver here and on dispose i have to unregister context dot unregister the receiver what are the other fields other fields are intent filter so intent filter that we are receiving here so intent filter means what kind of intent this will throw so here we need the intent filter of sms retrieved action so let me create the intent filter okay it is still showing me error what is this it is expecting this receiver exported or not and uh, yes we need to export our receiver so let me add this add exported it is still showing error because it is only supported with api level or above so so let me add a if condition if the current version is greater than o then we are going to call this register also make sure you are calling the unregister every time when it is already registered because if you are calling unregister without registering the receiver then it's going to crash it is showing here warning saying minimum is 26 we need 33 we can ignore that that's fine okay so everything looks good we have a receiver that will send us our otp we are sending the intent filter here sms retrieved action but there is one thing pending that is this line only when we are calling this start sms retriever only then the otp will be received from this broadcast that has this intent filter and only then we are able to access this extra status and extra sms message because obviously these are from sms retriever api and we have to call this start sms retriever i hope this all makes sense we are starting the sms retriever and then we are waiting for our broadcast receiver to receive any broadcast and then we are checking if it is a sms broadcast if yes get the otp and everything done okay everything looks fine let me run the application our application is there i will send the otp it will start the broadcast receiver here is the sms message you can get it from these three dots 
and uh, if i am sending the sms nothing is happening right now we are not receiving the sms message there is one reason that i already told you that was in the starting of this video i told you that our operating system only broadcasts the message to our application only when it knows that the message is for our application and how our operating system will know that a particular message is for our application and for that we need a hash code and i have the hash code for my application here you can see this is the hash from for my application and uh, you have to generate the hash for your application and uh, and that hash should be present at the end of your otp so you can write anything this is your otp any any text you can write you can fetch your otp from that text but at the end you should write the hash and uh, once your operating system finds that hash okay this hash is for that application so the operating system will broadcast that particular sms to the application and uh, that's how this api works if i'm sending now receive the message it also received the otp so how you can generate the hash for your application just uh, that is pretty simple you just need one class for this this is the class you can exactly copy paste this class you can uh, run your application once and you can log this app signatures like i did in main activity so in main activity what i am doing i am creating a list of app signatures so app signatures and i am logging them and inside log uh, hopefully i have them here let me write tag here you can see on create this is the hash this is the only hash right now exists for my application there can be multiple hashes for uh, multiple build variants of your application you just need to paste uh, this hash at the end of your sms here you can see at the end of my sms there is a hash only then your operating system will uh, broadcast the sms to your application so our api is done and uh, also you don't need to mention any broadcast receiver here in your manifest it works without it and make sure once you have generated the hash for uh, all the build variants you should remove this class that can be a security breach before publishing your application in the play store you should remove this class you should have all the hashes and you should have all the hashes as a post fix for your sms message and i hope this video is helpful for you if yes make sure to like it and subscribe the channel for all these awesome content thank you for watching